Stay tuned for tips and techniques from the nation's top chefs in the Chef's Kitchen. Today I'm with Jonathan Cartwright. Good to see you, Jonathan, see you from the White Barn Inn Restaurant, and Roger Bintlett from the New England Culinary Arts Forum. Nice to have you both here. Always a pleasure to be in the kitchen with you, Jonathan. Thank so this you. is a main tuna? Yes, it is. Great. This was the waters warm up, like now they start to swim up here. So after we've grilled it, we're going to pair it up with a little corn and shellfish ragu, and we're going to do a smoked tomato sauce. So I've just got a little bit of um, diced onion in the bottom Great. of the pan, and then I'm going to add a little bit of diced potato. I got some clams here, some little neck clams. Okay. To make it a little easier for yourself, cut the corn in half so you don't have to work with such big products. And now I'm just going to dice up a little bit of scallop that's going to go in the ragu a little bit later on. So the tomatoes have been nicely smoking now. They've picked up a, a lot of flavor. We've got a nice grill here where we can get some nice grill marks on there. And you can either sear, sear off the scallops or just lightly poach them in the ragu like this. You know, it doesn't have to be sizzling, sizzling hot. The tuna is very rare. And you can put as little or as much sauce on as you want. Because we had it out at room temperature for a little bit before we cooked it, it's nice and warm in the middle. It's not cold. If you take it out of a refrigerator, it can often be sushi cold in the middle. The ragu is yeah. so flavorful. Mm, I agree. Beautiful. To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on the Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.